Hey Glowons community, welcome. We're with Louis from Entre Trimetres, the founder. How are you, Louis? I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing today? <laughs> very good, surviving here at South Sun in the last days. Super excited, all the people we met. And yes, it was a nice event you guys organized and co-hosted. Tell us what happened yesterday. So, uh, we had the good fortune to collaborate with the Estonian government uh, to try and explain to people how they could potentially internationalize their business. As we know, among many tech entrepreneurs, it's a little bit of a nightmare dealing with bureaucracy in certain countries. Um, that's, I suppose, the diplomatic way of saying it. Um, and so we had the opportunity to discuss with people who are both in Spain, South Africa, China, um, Brazilian enterprises. We had, honestly, the list of countries um, with questions was pretty immense. Um, and it's very funny, you might come from many different countries, many different jurisdictions, but actually, the problems same, same are very problem. similar. Yeah, it's the same problem. <laughs> same problems. It's the same problem because mm. many people think that taxes are the issue. Many people think that that's what lots of entrepreneurs worry about. But actually, when they're starting off, when they're trying to launch into a market, they, they usually want reliability. They understand what the rules are. They feel how they know how it works. The admin costs aren't too high. Low corporate rates is something which is particularly interesting for large corporates looking to minimize taxes by hiring lots of staff into Ireland or potentially in Dubai or Belize. But it's not actually the solution for many entrepreneurs. Many of the entrepreneurs, their biggest pain point is, how long will it take for me to set this up? How long will it take for me to be able to contract people? What happens if I launch into a new market? How does it work with VAT cross-border? And so we had the opportunity to listen and hear to the problems. Nice words for them. For them. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. But it was, it was very interesting, particularly seeing the diverse nature, which I was not expecting in Madrid, um, yeah. that we had. Yeah. Could you like, uh, help us? Um, what was like, the common challenges that you heard? Uh, what, or success stories that you heard already, but you had some customers working on you, have many customers. Any success stories that you they have came with a challenge, you propose a solution, yeah. how does it look like? Completely, I mean, so just to give background and context to this, so I run an online accounting business in Spain, uh, accounting, immigration, pretty much anything which is paperwork and boring. If it's interesting, we don't do it. <laughs> if it's dull, we cover it. Um, and we're kind of a 60 person firm here. And so we come across lots of different entrepreneurs. Um, one thing we collaborate a lot in is the internationalization stage. So historically, what we've done with Estonia is for people looking for EU market access and expansion potentially outside of Spain, when they're looking, for instance, hiring access in the Eastern European market or German market, has been facilitating people setting up an Estonian or all, which gives the ability to have access. And there's a nice little thing on this where with Estonia, you pay 0% corporation tax until you distribute the profits. This doesn't save money if you want to be pulling all the money out of Europe all the time. Yeah. But it's fantastic if you want to reinvest, reinvest and grow your business. And the admin costs are really simple. Yeah. Um, so it's a particularly attractive option for those who have less physical businesses. Um, so we, we've had a, plenty of tech startups looking to do that and have cool. done it with us and with our partners. Awesome. So, so if I'm a tech startup, I'm interested to know more or I want to, how to, would you guys help us on the whole process? Uh, any advice, consulting service you give? Completely. I mean, we cover everything on the Spanish side. So let's say you're based in Spain and you've got the pain point or you've got some, the need to pull in money and you might be physically resident here but your company's in another jurisdiction. We help on everything to do with the international combinations. With Estonia in particular, um, we collaborate with some partners to really help provide a solution for tech entrepreneurs who might be having difficulty with social security, might be having difficulty with um, bureaucratic processes and the time it takes to set up and yeah. launch, as well as market access. So we either do it in-house or we've got partners um, who deal with it. Yeah. Um, we're kind of the place to come if you've got no idea where else to go. Yeah. No, no, I said that it's close, basically. I was, when I came here, when. Uh, to Spain, I was looking for, to open a company. I was, I got recommended a list of uh, accountants. I went around and looked many different options. It's difficult to compare. By the end, like, what got me the attention for Entre Tramites is like how digital, how forward thinking you are. Uh, and I think that's uh, very welcoming for entrepreneurs have many questions. And now we can offer to our community. We have like three, 30 minutes cons free consultation as well. Yep. That's very useful. 
uh, to get to started, to have your key core questions, and of course, then you can take it from there. So I think that's a great value for entrepreneurs. I appreciate that. Yeah, so as, as mentioned by Christian, like one of the big things we do is, look, we started as a YouTube channel explaining Spanish bureaucracy for free. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> it was a pain. Um, yeah. And so what we do is we offer these uh, free consultations to our partners like Club yeah. Globals yeah. to give you guys the opportunity for just start. And don't worry about it thinking, hey, I'm not ready to start yet. I'm not sure. Exactly. Just sign up for a talk. Yeah. That'll at least give you some idea. And then uh, really, I don't care much if you contract a service or you continue on. Yeah. If you come in and I help your problem, what that ends up happening is you'll go and talk to other people. So yeah. there's the completely selfish reason behind it, but <laughs> it works in your interest. Um, so there's kind of our complete brutal transparency, which you get used to. No, we love the brutal transparency and the knowledge sharing YouTube as well, all the content and the openness to just book someone's time to help you, the baby steps to move forward. So exactly. Louis, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, we are probably going to share our link for, to get the free consultations. So Louis, the founder of Entertainment. Thanks, Louis. Thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs> Hey Globals community, welcome. We're with Louis from Entretramites, the founder. How are you, Louis? I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing today? Very good, surviving here at South Sunny the last days. Super excited, all the people we met. And yesterday was a nice event you guys organized and co-hosted. Tell us what happened yesterday. So, uh, we had the good fortune to...